Life is such a precious and fragile thing. In a world like this, there is no telling when it is your time. But one thing is certain, we all have a time where we must go. Especially Egyptians. Fuck Egyptians. We lost two wonderful friends. I can't remember their names right now. One was this blackish Puerto Rican, and the other one was a bear. We know you will watch over them, and make sure they are cared for and loved. Great pigeon god. Baka klaka foo. May you know nothing but joy and happiness, until I come there, to bring fire and brimstone, and ruin your delicate lives. Amen. Grandpa, that might be the worst eulogy I have ever heard in my entire life. You should be a lecture, right, Coat? I put a lot of thought and energy in this eulogy, so you show your grandpa some gratitude. I should have never trusted you to plan this service. First off, you arranged it to happen in Seth's basement. Secondly, you got a balloon that says happy birthday for God knows what reason. And listen, I'm fine with there not being a dress code for this, but what in Ben Franklin's fucking ghost are you wearing? It's Elmo gear, queer. It's popping right now. Only the cool kids wear it. Huh, we're lame -o. Everyone knows Elmo gear so last week. It's all about the Cookie Monster gear now. Why are you idiots wearing Sesame Street clothes? It's designed for three-year-olds. Dad, you're so stupid. Okay, Grandpa, where'd you put Tartarus and Sasha's bodies? I'm gonna go bury them at the graveyard down the block. Oh, don't worry, I already took care of that. You buried them? Where? Buried them? Psh, that's what lazy people do. I put them out on the street corner. It's garbage day tomorrow. Oh, of course. That makes perfect sense. What was I thinking? Um, hello there, it's 2016. Everyone knows that's how you take care of dead people now. Dum dum. My god, Seth, if retardation was a catchable illness, you would be patient zero. <laughs> oh, snap it. No, she didn't. This girl is on fire. Shut up, fathead. Yeah, you just pissed, AJ, because I pedigreed your ass on the street while you're unconscious and won your precious Steven's title. You did what? And then I kept punching you in the penis while your boyfriend sat there and laughed. Is this true, Nobert? Of course it's not true. I didn't sit there to watch you get beaten up. I know you'd never do that, baby. Of course not. What kind of coward do you think I am? I joined in and power bombed you off a Prius. What the fuck? Why would you do that? I don't know. Thought it was kind of funny. Yeah, that's right, you stupid 13-year-old Hawaiian. I pedigreed your ass and took your title. What you gonna do about it? That's what I thought, nerd. Nothing. Tell you what, since you look eager for a rematch, I'll defend it at the annual pay-per-view. September to remember. <coughs> Get out of me, you wild, crazy animal! <coughs> hey, I knew I should have worn axe spray! All the girls are after me! <coughs> Well, good job, AJ. You broke the fucking wall. Now how are we going to keep the ants out? I hope you're happy, noob. Now I can't trust you anymore. I'm breaking up with you. I hope I never see you again. Bitch, that's John Cena's power, not mine. I'm going to find myself a new boyfriend who's brave, cool, and loyal. And he'll be much better than you, even if he's retarded. Retarded? <laughs> Holy moly! Thank you, Jesus! I won't let you down! I'll be right back, Brimbin! Get go! I'm gonna get me a girlfriend! Woohoo! Ah, oh, fuck, it's Ambrose. Alright, everyone be quiet. There's a chance he might not know we fucked up the rescue mission. Hey, Ambrose, what's up? Everything's good over there, I hope? 
You idiots fucked up the rescue mission. That's not entirely true. Don't lie to me, Brendan, you baby-fingered fuck. Alright, look, we fucked it up, D, and we got into a little more than we can chew. Well, we're in luck. Seems like I found a way to get John Cena out and take down the Tin Man once and for all. I'm listening. The Tin Man went to an intergalactic auction the other day and bought a super advanced nuke. I can arm it and blow the Tin Man's whole empire to ashes. I just need you to come here and rescue me and Cena before the bomb goes off. Yeah, but don't we kind of need a ship to do that? Yes, you would need a ship. Dean, we don't even have a car. Seth's mom has been driving us from place to place using her minivan. Hey, I found my way up here. So can you. Well, how did you get up there? To be honest, I don't remember. I was really, really high. Oh. Well, that sucks. Why don't you guys just get that shit big noob Libot to teleport you there? Wait a minute. Noob, you can teleport? Of course the great noob Cybot can teleport. Why do you ask? Wait a minute. So you're telling me, every bad situation we've come across, you could have teleported us out of there in a second, and you never thought once to do it? Oops. Cybot, you unbelievable fucking idiot. I know that's incredibly dumb of him, Dean, but look at the plus side. We have a means of getting in and out of there now. That is true. Alright. Be here in two hours, but be careful. The Sangeli gods are all over the place. Yeah, actually they're not. Say what now? You didn't hear this? The Sangeli are threatening to go on strike. They want more space rubies. And for the Tin Man to stop calling them dirty sand lizards. God damn it, Bison. You're so lucky I don't have thumbs. You guys got all that? Yeah, we got it. We'll be sure not to let you down this time, Dean. Oh, don't you worry. I'm sure you will. Somehow. Hey, is this squishy peachy if I bring a lecture chair with us? Sure, bring your weird amphibian monster with you. Why not? Alright, see you in a bit, Ambrose. Hey guys, heard there was a party going on. I'm the new guy, Lancelot, but you can call me Lance. Hey girl, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I put you and I next to that letter that looks like two V's glued together. And use all the other letters to spell caterpillar. What the fuck are you talking about? Can I see your vagina? Uh -oh, spaghetti! <laughs> Howdy, Seth! Eh, so now that Seth puts his head through a wall, everyone's gotta do it. Pull loose. 